Hey everyone, it's Brenda back again with another episode of Three Uniques. I'm super excited to introduce you to Amy Keller. Hi Amy, how are you doing today? I'm good, Brenda. How are you? I'm so good. So just so everyone knows, Amy is an intimacy and relationship coach and she's based in Vancouver, Canada. Um, so Amy, what do you do as an intimacy and relationship coach? I help people feel connected and safe and in the groove with each other without just talking about it and without just doing it. <laughs> awesome. How did you get into how did you get into intimacy and relationship coaching? I found myself in a marriage needing more intimacy or any intimacy and needing help on it and I couldn't find the help that I was looking for. So I went out and became the help that I went looking for. Nice. And what else do we know about you? Um, I have a very unique approach. Unique is one of my very favorite words. I'm called cool. unique quite a bit. I have a hilarious sense of humor and I am happy to help. This is my life mission to help people feel safe in connection. Lovely. So you're here to share your three uniques with us. So how about my first unique is my perspective. My second unique is my creative approach to aliveness and my intuition. And my third unique is that I'm completely curious, completely open-minded and completely non-judgmental. Awesome, I can't wait to hear them. So let's go up to the top, so perspective. So perspective, I have a really unique perspective because I've been an intimacy coach and working on becoming an intimacy coach for 20 years. And I started by helping men feel confident in intimacy in the bedroom if they have sexual health issues. So I've been mostly a men's coach for 20 years and that is a really unique perspective. And then I'm also became a therapist. So I've studied therapy. So I have that therapeutic approach. And then I also have that uh, experience of being in the, in the dregs, if you will, with men so that they were really honest with me and, and, and approaching their porn issues and their confusion issues. My unique perspective is because I also have a deep spiritual perspective and I've been practicing studying Buddhism for 30 plus years and lecturing around the world. And um, as my unique perspective is that everything comes down to intimacy. And when you feel confident in your intimacy, you feel confident and able to produce in all parts of your life. Amazing. Mm -hmm. awesome. Well, we were talking earlier about just even like in the business sense, right? Like intimacy. I, I often use, even with my clients, the word intimacy. And sometimes I feel like I have to preface it. Like I'm not being weird here because sometimes people think intimacy is only with you know, the bedroom or some type of sexual orientation or connotation. And I think intimacy is really important, even in the business world, where it's like, you get to know your employees, you understand the team, the customers that you're working with, and you develop that rapport, which I think is a version of intimacy. Yeah. The word intimacy means even a close knowledge, a detailed knowledge of something. Like you can say, he's intimate with his baseball team. He knows all their stats. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So exactly that. That's yeah. a good, good metaphor for business. And as I say, sex and money, <laughs> they're <laughs> the things that motivate us in life. Right. And actually sex is the bottom one. When you feel confident in your sexuality, money comes to you, life comes to you, feel confident in all parts of your life. Oh, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's great. And then your second, yeah. your second unique. Is that creativity. I'm super creative and that creative aliveness, which I've always had, I've always, I'm comfortable on stage. I love public speaking. I was Annie as a little child. You can see me in my TEDx, just confident, owning it. I've done stand-up comedy. I have a degree in uh, fine arts and pieces hanging in galleries. So I have a really unique, I like to find solutions. 
and I'll find really creative solutions. And especially because, like I said, I coached men Mm -hmm. and men don't want to talk about their feelings. They didn't come to me as a therapist. They come to me as a coach because that's a concept they understand. I'm going to learn to up my game. Right. (laughs) So I'll find real solutions for that, which is why I use hilarious metaphors. Mm -hmm. And my sense of humor, I would say also, that would be part of that creative approach. And when you can have a sense of humor about something, it makes it easier to approach it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then your third unique. The third unique is that curious, the ability to stay curious, completely 100% curious and non-judgmental in any circumstances, especially I say about this today's political environment People ask you, how do I deal with the political environment? I do the exact same thing I do with my couples. I go all the way to one side and I listen. I want to completely understand your point of view. And I say, that makes sense to me. And I go all the way to the other side and I listen and I make sure that I understand. And I say, that makes sense to me. And then I sort of sit back in the middle and go, okay, let's do this. (laughs) Let's see how this works out. It's that ultimate trust because I know that when, when you show up in your best here and you show up in your best here, then the best for everybody is what's going to show up in the middle. And that open non-judgmental, mm-hmm. that again is about being able to just sit in the soup, as I say, being okay with whatever shows up. And if you do that, even for each other, you don't have to be right or wrong. It's about just being able to be okay with whatever shows up. So I practice it myself. That's so great. That's amazing. How did you, um, when I asked you to come on and share your three uniques with us, like what sort of things did you do to prepare? Is this something that just comes naturally to you? You just know what makes you unique or did you spend some time thinking about it and kind of like maybe walk us through your process a bit? I actually thought about it a little bit. I actually thought about it from, from a business po- uh, perspective. Mm-hmm. What is it that makes me unique in coaching couples? It's not just a regular therapeutic approach. I want couples to feel confident and satisfied. And I really did think about this because what makes me unique is not just that I'm a coach, not just that I've done this. I I could have gone, what makes me unique? I love bright colors. Mm -hmm. I see more colors than other people. I like to listen to classical music. But you know, I'm very, I could go on and on about what makes me unique. But when I think about why I'm really here, Mm -hmm. I always remember that I'm really here to help other people. I've dedicated my life to it. So I always try to take myself out of the situation and out of the story. My first book will be out soon. And I'm, I'm this in it about this much. The rest of it is stories and anecdotes and Uh, real tools to help other people. Because I remember that people aren't really that interested in my story, only in how I can help people. So even when I think about my perspectives and what makes me unique, I think about my uniqueness and how I can help other people with that. Nice. And when is your book expected to come out? Uh, A year ago. All good. It's all part of the creative process, right? Right. So I'm right in. I'm right in those last pieces. I'm right in those last pieces and getting testimonials and getting a few, making, sending it out to make sure I don't step on anybody's toes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, when um, when you're ready, let us know, and then we can share it with our audience because uh, you've been on three uniques, and we want to make sure our audience has information about your book. Great. And well, they can sign up at my site and they should go check out my TEDx. Okay. Yeah. So where do we find you? You can find me at amycolor.com. That's C-O-L-O-R spelled the American way, like red, yellow, blue. And I have a TED talk. You can always look for Amy Color TEDx and it's about intimacy and sex and it's hilarious and entertaining and practical advice. I like tools, real, real tools for real people to feel very safe with each other. Nice. Okay. So I have one last question for you, Amy. If I was to give you a billboard and you could have it anywhere in the world that you like, what would it say on it and where would it be? Hmm. I think I would put it in Washington, DC Mm -hmm. right now because there's so much turmoil right there. And it would be my saying, which is right on that little sign right there. Mm -hmm. It's that little yes sound. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it does, there's a lot of science behind, behind it. But what I say is intimacy is the vibe in the space between two people. And it's also the vibe that you have for yourself. That's what makes people feel so safe with me is I've got that safety vibe. And that mm -hmm, is what I practice. And that's a positive vibe. It's that simple. You want to change your vibe? Just go, mm-hmm. You're yeah. putting the yes sound in there. And I'd put it in Washington, D.C. So people would go, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Because without even intending to, they'd be putting a positive vibe in the air. And I think they could use it right now. Oh, I love that. Because it's all about validation, right? Validation of someone else's thoughts or expressions. And it's validating to yourself. Mm-hmm. Because we really, when it comes down to it, we are the only people who can do it for ourselves. We're never going to get enough validation from the outside world. Nobody's ever going to tell us we're pretty enough. It's never going to mean the right thing. Nobody's ever going to tell us that we said the right thing. We have to believe it for ourselves. We have to be able to turn ourselves on and tap into our own positive vibe. And the easiest way to do that is mm -hmm, that simple yes sound. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. What was that? That's a great question. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to take ownership of the question. It actually comes from Tim Ferriss's book, Tribe of Mentors. So he's got uh, 11 questions that he asks folks. And I, that one specifically I love. So yeah. uh, thank you. And such a treat to have you on today, sharing your three uniques with us and telling us more intimately what you do for people. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you for having me. It was fun to talk. And for everybody that's tuning in today, listening to Amy share her three uniques and for other people that we've interviewed in the past or about to interview in the future, just remember you've got an opportunity to share your three uniques with the world. There's seven and a half billion people on this planet. Somebody needs what you've got. Take care, yeah. everyone.